patients were randomized in a two to one manner to either receive the neoadjuvant therapy so, or, or standard therapy. So the patients that received the neoadjuvant therapy had eight weeks up front, then surgery, then 44 weeks of the dibrafenum and trametinib in the adjuvant setting. Patients that had standard of care basically had upfront surgery and then were offered adjuvant therapy, standard adjuvant therapies, FDA approved, and then we followed for relapse. And this trial was actually designed to be 84 patients deep. You know, 84 patients is what we were looking for in the way that we designed it statistically. But because it's a randomized trial, it, it gets monitored by a data safety monitoring board. And uh, our DSMB showed, found that um, basically because there were such big discrepancies in the outcomes of the two arms, decided to close the trial early after just 21 patients were enrolled. So basically a quarter of the planned enrollment. Uh, and that was because the patients that received the neo adjuvant and adjuvant dibrafenum and tremendib did exceedingly well um, uh, and, and had far less relapses than the people that were treated with the standard of care. And so because the, the number of patients is, is low, it's, we're a little bit, little bit limited in what we could gather from that one trial. Um, however, we're looking at a lot of, of correlates. So one thing that we wanted to see besides just the relapse-free survival advantage, which was very apparent for the neoadjuvant treated patients, we were actually looking at pathologic complete response. And as you may know, you know, in neoadjuvant therapy, pathologic complete response, which is basically absence of any viable tumor at the time of surgery, seems to correlate with improved relapse-free survival, potentially even overall survival, and that's been something that's been determined in breast cancer. And so we're trying, this is really our first attempt at doing this in melanoma. So we actually found that 58% of our patients that had the neoadjuvant therapy had a pathologic complete response. And then when you look at that group further, those people that had a path CR have not had relapses of their melanomas, whereas people that have had the, re the neoadjuvant therapy did not have a path CR, we have seen some relapses in that patient group.